cat that slips through the night. Always on the prowl, never in sight. to my left. Fifteen touch bout. The score is Belanca, 13. Dane, 14. Fences, on guard. Hurry! Step aside. Step aside. This is official police business. Go on the exit. No one leaves. Who are you? What is the meaning of this? Hey, Inspector Ginko, Interpol, and your own Captain Crickaber. I have reason to believe that one of this evening's competitors is a highly dangerous international criminal. The thief who calls himself Diabolique. Sorry for the inconvenience, gentlemen. I must ask you all to line up and show your faces. Monsieur Dane Ginko, what are you doing? Captain Crickaber, Diabolik is a master of disguise. I must check for a mask. Not with these individuals of such stature. <laughs> Monsieur Dane, sir, please, please accept my apology. Oh, no, no, no need to apologize, Captain. The infamous Diabolik must be brought to justice. To run, Diabolique. Get him on his feet. End of the line. Ah! Torgerson! He's one for crimes on four continents! Congratulations, Inspector Dark! Ah! Yes, yes, take him in. Diabolique. You took quite a risk tonight. D. Was it worth it just to tweak your brother in public? How could I resist? Besides, I made sure Torgerson would be at the tournament to distract the law. What have you got? Dane is staying in a converted castle like two miles down the river. He has a meeting tomorrow with the transportation minister about the new subway contract. Hmm. He could have sent anyone to that meeting. No, no. He's here for something else. Like what? There's only one way to find out. Ginko's presence here guarantees our success. With him around, Diabolique will be sure to stay clear. <laughs> yes, calling in an anonymous tip to my brother's greatest enemy was a stroke of genius, was it not? Unless, of course, Diabolique simply takes Ginko as one more challenge to overcome. <clears throat> no matter. Neither he nor anyone else even knows of the manuscript's existence. Which is how it must remain. Prague is about to give up one of her greatest secrets. The whereabouts of the long-lost imperial jewels of Rudolf II. They are as good as mine. And then what? Will you wear the Holy Roman Emperor's crown to the opera? <laughs> oh, Wolf. How I pity your lack of understanding. Don't you see that sometimes it is enough just to possess a thing, even if you cannot share it with the world? No one enters the suite. Mr. Dane insisted on fresh flowers. The flowers in his suite were cut two whole days ago. You wouldn't want them to... Would you?
थी Diabolique, my friend. I will always remember this sacrifice. What is it? What did you find? Nothing that matters now. We better hurry. They must already be having dessert. This looks intriguing. Latin, early 17th century. Looks like some kind of poem. How am I doing in the Tokyo market? Your phony soybean harvest report will allow you to buy stock dirt cheap. When the correct report is released, prices will skyrocket. What do you want to do about the border inspection problems in the Caucasus? It shut off the natural gas pipelines. Until those greedy government fools let my trucks pass, it's predicted to be a long winter. Has anyone been here? No, sir. Hmm. It appears someone has been here after all, Dane. Perhaps you have a secret admirer. What is this? Oh, uh, just the fresh flowers you ordered. Room service brought them. When I say nobody enters the suite, that means nobody. Understood? Yes, sir. Uh, 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 sorry, sir. I want that man dealt with. Oh, everything is here. Now, let us go over these clues. Rudolf the Second was an obsessive collector. He filled his palaces with everything from high art to exotic animals. So the most precious treasure of the poem could be almost anything. Rudolf was forced to abdicate in favor of his brother, but the imperial jewels were never recovered. Legend had it, Rudolf hid them somewhere in the city. Hmm. Brother against brother. Some things never change. You really think the poem is a series of directions to the treasure? It was a common kind of puzzle in those days. The stanzas take you from one place to another. Let's see if the computer's finished its translation. Hmm. The frozen angel spreads its wings high above where the cardinals sing. Where the cardinals sing? Is there a royal aviary? No, no, too obvious. This is poetry, Eva. <laughs> Maybe in the original Latin. Original Latin? Of course. Come on, Eva. We're going back into the city. Roadblock ahead. Looks like Ginkgo's caught our scent. Not our scent. Hey, what's the hold up? There's your passports, please. What for? This ain't the border, is it? I told you not to trust those directions we got at the B and B. Ah, this is a police checkpoint. We're looking for a criminal. You're accusing us of being criminals? I won't stand for it. The U.S. consulate's gonna hear about this. You're interfering with our right to spend money. What is this? My auto. <laughs> <laughs> Move along, move along, go ahead, go ahead. A man and a woman, yet you let them go? They support our economy. Diabolique's close. I can feel it. I want to review the Torgerson file. Remember, Eva, 
Every building, every clue in the poem had to exist in Prague when it was written almost 400 years ago. St. Peter's Church? What does this have to do with bird singing? Not birds, cardinals. The kind that sing hymns. According to records, this church was a favorite of Rudolph's. And a perfect perch for an angel. If this is the right place, our next location will be visible from here. Men dance upon the hour before his silent stare. The sun and moon chase round the works of time laid bare. The church bells ring on the hour, and a procession might look like a dance. Got it. The angel staring right at it. The astronomical clock on Old Town Hall. You're a good student, mon chéri. Let's go. At this rate, we'll find the treasure before lunch. Maybe not. The Abelique, my old friend. And the lovely Eva Kant. How good to see you. We have so much catching up to do! What's going on? It looks like Ginkgo didn't keep the Abelique away after all. He got into the safe. Of course! The flower delivery! He's going to get my treasure! Stop him! <laughs> Use the radios! Get the car! Sokolovka Metro Station, southbound line. Correction, northbound tunnel. They're on foot. They're headed north, towards the river. I need more men in Old Town. Now! Keep going. Respect the man. He makes a good point. When Wolf finishes his swing, have him meet us at the church. We have some catching up to do. Emil Torgerson wanted across Europe for dozens of museum robberies, bank heists, and worse. You should be celebrating, Inspector. You caught the bad guy. Hmm. Torgerson is a world-class fencer, but he wasn't supposed to be at that tournament. The Abelik must have broken into the Fencing Association's computer and added his name to the list of those invited. But why? What would he do it for? As a diversion. But from what? Men dance upon the hour, all right. But how do we get from here to... Atop the southern nation, wisdom holds the key. My most precious treasure lies within my last memory. The only thing in sight to the south is that bus station, which definitely wasn't around in the 16th century. Eva, put up that map program. In Rudolph's era, this building of Charles University was in a direct line south of the mechanical clock. Well, that gives us the knowledge the poem talks about. But I don't see anywhere to hide a key. Unless... Looks like when the man's... Top. Ooh. 
Let's see if X marks the spot. That's a small key for such a big treasure. An overthrown emperor's most important possession. Sought after by an overblown would-be king. But we'll have it first. As soon as we figure out what Rudolph meant by my last memory. Dee, what is it? I know what it is. I, I don't get it, Dane. Why are we coming here to a brand spanking new building? Especially when Diabolique has already beaten us to Rudolph's key. It is all in the poem. My fine geniuses from Brooklyn and Berlin. Rudolph's brother and successor took down the last memorial Rudolph raised to himself. And this is where it is now stored. If we are lucky, we might even find... Dave! The key! Give it to me! First, you'll have to get past Balanka, Angak. You have made a very big mistake. Get the girl. Our rivalry ends here, brother. Once and for all. Careful. You just might get what you wish for. You know, you two make a nice couple. Huh. Uh. Sure you want the treasure? It may not be what you think. I had to start its existence. I stole the scroll. It's mine! Goodbye, brother. The key! Are these the kind of games you two played growing up together? I never much cared for hide and seek. Let's go. I found it! <laughs> Portrait! Waltz! Where is the crown? I guess when you're emperor, there are treasures greater than jewels. <laughs> Foolish sentiment. Diabolik was already in here. He knew. He, he, he cheated me! Is that you, Monsieur Dane? <gasps> that call you made to me. Just what was so urgent? Call? Oh! Uh, yes. Please, Inspector, have a look. Such an important find. Personal relics of the Emperor himself. You've made a priceless contribution to the Republic, Inspector. What is this? <gasps> Monsieur Dane, we have to talk. Inspector Ginko, meet me at the Rudolph Monument tonight. It is very urgent. Not bad. Can that thing do, Bogart? What's that? It belonged to a friend. So, that's why you went back to Dane's safe on our way out of Prague. That's the nothing you saw. I couldn't take it earlier without tipping him off. I took the name of my father's pet panther. He gave his life to save mine. Then I'd say, the collar is with its rightful owner now.